Yo, what's up, good people? So this is just a quick packing update, man. We still going through. Seems like the more you pack, the more you realize you got. Still ain't packed. Um, a lessons learned for me was um, going from the 55 barrel, uh, the 55 gallon barrels to the 75 gallon barrels. I think you know you you still basically gonna pay the same amount of money. So um initially we were going to use these and i told y'all about the whole little deal with you know i cut these open i did the whole little cut it open and i was trying to figure out how i was gonna how i was gonna go ahead and fasten it tight and then um i found some reasonably priced uh 55 gallon barrels right and these had the top on it so i was like cool beans i got the top you know it's a lot easier to fasten it's gonna be a lot a lot more neat i guess you say a lot more uh, organized and a lot easier to deal with so i'm thinking that was going to be my solution and then all of a sudden um <laughs> these are like my transitions i found some other um olive barrels right these are cool because they have the little um uh, screw on top so i'm like okay this, this would be a good solution too for the 55 gallon but the difference between those and the blue one well the blue one like that is they're a little bit smaller uh in diameter but they're taller right <clears throat> so um that was cool and then all of a sudden we stumbled across these uh these uh 77 gallons right 77 gallons and these babies are um like 85 dollars right they got the tops that fasten on all the lock in place you can put the locks in it if you want to and and you know bang for buck that's the best that's the best thing going so um we've been pivoting so to speak changing the uh changing the game plan um you get more in it right and i'm still getting charged by the barrel basically so um if i'm getting charged by the barrel you do better with a 77 gallon than you do with a 55 gallon so um going back and that's what you see right here going back unloading the uh, original 55 gallons and going ahead and um going back and um and putting them into the um putting them into the 77 gallons so i'm getting more bang for my buck um as you can see the diameter on these are pretty wide too so they're bigger than the pickle barrel so it's just a better deal so that's what we've been doing man just going back through trying to make this thing work you know initially we said man we're gonna do like eight 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 barrels and we're gonna be good nope <laughs> nope we got more than that now man we got more than that so um just still trying to make it pop man packing is never fun you got so much stuff between uh clothes and you know you know me i'm a workout dude so workout equipment and you know just my my old my um regular equipment you know for fixing stuff my 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 you know shed equipment man your tools your tools your man a man need tools i don't want to go anywhere without my tools so um just the ability to be able to fix things and all that type of stuff man we just been packing all that up and it's been uh, i won't say it's been easy that's for sure it's been a work in progress but um you know a little bit by little bit man that's all you could do um change my date so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be traveling out probably within a month, a month's time. At least that's the plan at the moment. You know, it's funny because uh, plane tickets they they become more expensive. Um, November, December, you know those months. I think that's like the summertime for like um, Tanzania, that area, the whole travel destination and whatnot. So um, it becomes more expensive. So you know, trying to find a balance between. Um, giving myself more time but not being penalized and getting getting raped essentially on uh, trying to travel there again we booked our plane tickets with uh qatar airlines i was kind of scared to use anybody else because um when i when i first came excuse me when i first came to tanzania uh qatar airlines was pretty pretty uh fabulous for me <laughs> fantastic for me right the food was good the travel was good the seats were comfortable i enjoyed the um the entertainment on the planes it, it was a good experience all in all so um 
I talked to some people talking about Kenyan Airlines or Kenya Airlines, and I heard a little bit about Ethiopia Airlines and, you know, some of the other different places or whatever. Um, what's, what's another one? Um, Emirates, I think, is one. Some people were able to do... No, that wasn't too Tanzania. That was like the South Africa and whatnot. But I've heard varying things as far as food is concerned. And some people enjoy their, 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 their flights over. Some people, not so much. I had a friend just made it over to Ghana. And they took um, United, I think it was. And, and, you know, they're a little bit bigger. So maybe that influenced the, the whole little deal. But they were not uh, too happy about the flight. And that, that flight was only 16 hours. For me, it's been taking longer. I think it's something like 20 something hours to you know get there and everything and then uh if you add in the uh delays and whatnot then you're looking at another you know 8 10 12 hours depending on whatever the case may be again the longer your flight the cheaper it's going to be um if you're trying to get a, a flight with less layovers and whatnot then you expect to spend a little bit more at least during this time uh, a couple hundred dollars uh if you're doing one way and then uh, if you're doing two-way, then probably, probably more $400, $500, something along the lines. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, I'm looking at, in my home state, um, car insurance is going up at like 29%. Uh, homeowners insurance just jumped up. Just stupid prices because all the only game in town is citizens. So, um, you know, you pay now, you pay later, but one way or another, you're going to pay. And that's that's what it is. So, anyway, quick update, y'all. Still packing, still trying to get it in. That's what it is. Um, pray for me. Pray for me. Holla. Peace.